Medical record tracking labels in PCSE Online. In this video, we will start with an introduction to the movement of medical records, then jump in to demonstrate how you request additional labels in PCSE Online. We'll then finish off with some FAQs. There will be some timestamps available in the description should you wish to jump to a specific topic. I will now discuss what a medical record tracking label is and what you need to do once you receive a label at your practice. If a patient has changed their GP practice, their paper medical record will follow them. If you receive a tracking label, then this means the patient has been deducted from your practice and has registered at another practice. The patient deduction generates a label which is printed and delivered to you by a city's print. You will be able to see the details for patient moves in your records out tab in PCSE online, which I will guide you through soon. When the tracking label arrives, locate all parts of the paper medical record and put the record in a shipping bag. Attach the right hand label to the shipping bag in the box labelled. NHS staff affix address label here. Records will then be collected the following week by a citrus print. But please be aware that Citys Print will only collect shipping bags with the transit label affixed. It is important for the medical record to be sent to the new practice as soon as possible so patient care is not affected. It also ensures that the records are up to date at your GP practice. If you need to request any additional tracking labels, say for example if the record is too big to fit into one shipping bag, Simply log into your PCSE Online account and enter your username, enter your password, and click Sign In. Then select the Records and Supplies tab. From here, you will need to enter your organisation code. Then select your organisation from the drop down list. Then Click the Update tab. From the Records homepage, you will need to select View Records Out, which is within the Records Out box. As you can see, this practice has 978 records that need to be sent to the receiving practice. To request additional labels and view records that need to be moved, select View Records Out. Here, you are shown a list of all the patients that have left your GP practice. Their names, dates of birth and NHS numbers will be visible here and have only been removed for demonstration purposes. To search for a patient on this page, select the drop down arrow on the All Fields tab and select how you wish to search. You can search by name, date of birth or NHS number. Once selected, type your search details in the box, then click the blue search tab. Once you have found the correct patient, select the blue PCS number. This will open up the patient details, which will show their name, date of birth and NHS number. Once you have checked this is correct, Add the amount of additional labels you need, then click Request Labels. The labels will be received within two to three weeks. I will now show you how to request a new tracking label. This may be if your record does not appear in the Records In or Records Out list in PCSE Online. From the Records homepage, select Request movement. This takes you to the movement request page. This area can be used to request the movement of records for patients no longer registered at your practice, additional notes for a record you have already returned, or a record you were not expecting. To request a new tracking label, you will need to enter the patient's NHS number below, which will then auto-populate the personal details such as name and date of birth. 
If the patient details do not also populate at this point, the details will need to be manually entered. The destination and movement date will be auto populated. You will then need to select the reason for the movement from the drop down menu. Once you have checked the details are correct for the label that you are requesting, click Submit. City Sprint will then deliver a tracking label for this record movement with your usual records collection and delivery. Please put the record in a shipping bag, affix the label and leave for City Sprint to collect. I'm now going to run through some commonly asked questions and answers. My label is damaged. Can I still use it? If the label is damaged but can still be attached to the bag, then please try and use it. City Sprint will try to collect and scan the record. If they cannot scan it, they will manually enter the wrong number on the label. If it cannot be used and you need to order a new label, visit the Request Movement page in PCT Online and request a new label as previously shown in this video. When I'm trying to order a new label, PCSE Online displays an error message saying that the patient is still registered at the practice. You will need to contact PCSE by using the Contact Us form, which can be found on the PCSE website. Please visit pcse.england.nhs.uk forward slash contact us. I have received a label that's not needed by the practice. If you have received a label that you do not need, you can securely destroy this label. Our tracking labels have been printed on the wrong side of the sheet. Can they be reprinted? You can email the PCSE supplies team and request the labels to be reprinted. You will need to provide the PCS number that is located under the barcode from the header sheet of the pack. Please send requests to PCSE dot supplies dash leads at nhs dot net. What do I need to do when live patient records are being sent to PCSE for storage? All live patients that are being placed in storage require the electronic health record printing to send with the Lloyd George envelope. This can be identified by an ARC label. What do I do when sending patient records to another home nation? All patients that are moving to another home nation, such as Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, require the electronic health record printing to send with the Lloyd George envelope. This can be identified by using the following labels. Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. What should I do if a GP to GP transfer fails? Practices using version 2.2a should integrate the received electronic health record promptly within eight days. If not, the previous practice will automatically be notified at the end of day eight that A, the record has not been integrated and B, that the paper copy of the electronic record should be printed to send with a Lloyd George envelope to the new practice. Further information about GP to GP version 2.2a can be found at the NHS Digital website. We have included a link to that website within the description of this video. We have digitised the medical records that we store. Can the paper medical record be securely destroyed? NHS England have confirmed that if a patient's paper medical record has been successfully digitised, the Lloyd George envelope can now be securely destroyed. If a patient is transferring to a home nation, such as Ireland, Scotland or Wales, a GP practice will still need to print out a summary record because GP to GP does not work for these record movements. A practice will need to print out a summary record if a GP to GP transfer has failed.
I have requested a new label following the steps in this video, but it still hasn't been sent to the practice. What do I need to do now? Please allow up to three weeks to receive the label. If it's not received in this time, then please notify PCSE by using the contact us form. I don't have a username and password for PCSE online. How can I get access? Please notify PCSE by using the contact us form. To locate the contact us form, you'll need to visit the PCSE website. Click contact us. And then select medical records movement. Medical records movement inquiry. And then select new medical record movement inquiry. Once you are on the new contact us form, please complete all the required details such as your name, email address, and most importantly, your practice code. Then include the subject and reason for your message and click submit. Thank you for watching this Hints and Tips video. Please remember, we've got lots of useful information available on the PCSE website and also lots of frequently asked questions and answers that are available within the help section.